Thanks for joining us for another tabletop. We've got a BM9 in from Brigade Manufacturing and Classic Firearms. 9mm PCC. We're going to take a look and see what's different, what's similar, coming up next on GB Guns. So now with the box out of the way, we've got the gun here and I wanted to show you the manual because, well, I always do that. We've got some photos that come through a uh, little difficult, not the most clear, but uh, the manual applies to both the 9mm and their 5.56 variants since Brigade Manufacturing does both. I did appreciate though the troubleshooting chart on here. Uh, it's really frustrating for the companies and of course for the shooter when you have an issue and you want to blame the gun, you want to get angry at the company, sometimes it's something that the user can fix or the user hasn't identified and that manual hopefully can help you run through that. You do also get a Glock stick mag, Glock branded, because this takes 9mm Glock mags. So here's the gun. Start back here. This is one of the newer Shockwave blades and you notice that it is adjustable, which is pretty cool. Nice advancement to the old Shockwave blades. I hadn't seen that before. Come along, we've got a standard charging handle this has a nice Cerakote on it. They're available in a variety of colors. Nice large magazine release. Good and positive. And we can see we've got the short barrel on this one and a flash can uh, slash faux suppressor looking bit on the end. These rails, when I first saw them, I said, oh man, Kimon, that's so 2015. Uh, you gotta get with the, uh, the cool guys are all running M-Lock now. And then I found out that uh, this cut, this unique cut that um, is patent pending, it's actually engraved on there, a little difficult to read even with the naked eye, but uh, this can accept both key mod and M-Lock, which I think is pretty cool. I wish that had become the standard. Big flat base here on the bottom. Coming around our other side, you can see the blazing engraved logo there. And we've got pictogram style safety selectors or safety indicators, which is nice. They went smartly with a trigger guard that fills in that gap to help reduce patrol knuckle as if you'd really feel it on something this small. But uh, overall, pretty good looking gun. Castle nut does not appear to be staked. See what our triggers like looks like a GI trigger as far as the castle nut not being staked I'm not too worried about that I've never had one back off on me to the point of catastrophic failure feels like a GI trigger it's acceptable now if you're a new to 9mm PCCs triggers can be an issue some of the aftermarket lightweight triggers uh, don't hit with enough force to work on these bolts. That may be why they went with this one. I do not know off the top of my head if it is a manufacturer specific trigger or not. Separator upper and lower. Take a look at the lower. Trigger looks pretty standard. You can see we've got a B mark on the uh, buffer. That's probably for Brigade Manufacturing. And we've got our ejector here and you can see how that bolt release and last round hold open works. Pretty smart. Everything tucked in and clean. Looks like pretty good machining. A little bit of chattering on the front end here. And here is our bolt. Now in Direct blowback PCCs like this, the mass of the bolt and the strength of the spring is what keeps things closed long enough to open before they're safe, or to keep it from opening before it's safe. And so that's why you've got the weight added in here. You want to keep that in mind if you're going to go for any type of folding device or something like that, that you're going to have to drive out that pin and removing that weight is going to change the way the gun functions. Nice coated carrier. Everything looks very clean, nicely done. Looks quite a bit like 
a uh, standard AR style extractor, which would be good. And you can see our barrel doesn't really have a feed ramp because, well, that really feeds off of the magazine. So an interesting little short piece here. Looks very well made so far. When we get it out to the range, we will of course run our what's for dinner test through it. And uh, if you're wondering, the charging handle does appear to be standard GI size and length, which means you can probably swap in your own aftermarket stuff. As you know though, we here on the channel do not modify firearms before testing them because we want to show you what you can expect out of the box. So um, when we go to the range, we'll do our what's for dinner, see what this thing cycles on, lightweight, heavyweight, high pressure, low pressure, aluminum, brass, steel, all that, even when it's not recommended because we want you to see what happens. We will also do a multi-mag test. I think I have eight, maybe 10 now, different variants of Glock pattern magazines, and they're not all the same. The depth of the catch, uh, the shape of the catch isn't always the same, and so that means that sometimes they don't necessarily work with these guns. We'll test those out for you, show you what works and doesn't, and then we'll try grouping this thing. With barrels this short in 9mm, I prefer to group at 50 yards, just to be fair to the gun, because I think at 100 yards, you've got a higher chance of external factors influencing the bullet flight that uh, I don't want accuracy changes from that impacting the way you view a particular gun. So we're gonna go 50 yards plus something this small. Likely, you're not gonna be using past 50 yards. I don't know, I'm sure some of you can correct me. Well, do you like that we have QD points on the front? Don't have any on the back. We do have one sling point or strap point on the brace and the GI pistol grip. Smart move for them to uh, not involve increasing the cost for a pistol grip that you may want to change. That is something that we might change uh, before taking to the range, just to give us a little more vertical angle, makes it more comfortable shooting at the bench, but uh, the internals of the gun we'll leave alone. Notice the forge markings here for the lower and upper come from the same place. I appreciate that. You don't always get that with some of the bigger companies as they're just reaching for sources and try to uh well get their hands on whatever they can get their hands on so that is the brigade manufacturing bm9 short and sweet tabletop i have a uh, business trip coming up but when i get back we'll definitely get out to the range and film the shooting portion i'm curious to hear your thoughts on this and uh, if you've owned one or considered one or know someone who does what the experience has been I'll be reading the comments and uh, hopefully catch up with you when I get back. Thanks for watching.